Good afternoon, guys! Welcome to Life of Apollo, some of the most trusted beard in automotive news. Happy to have you here. I'm happy that I'm here. It's a joyous day for automotive YouTube to celebrate. Obviously, we're gonna be talking about the monster news, a Strad man buying his hypercar, and everything else in the video that you might have missed if you didn't watch it from start to finish. Additionally, we're also gonna be talking about a monster update on, on the daily driven exotic sort of ban from the US, with the US Canada border being closed. Big Big updates on that, sort of a new timetable going forward, and so much more in today's episode, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for taking a couple minutes out of your day to spend here with me. Let's rock it. All right, before we talk about the hypercar stuff with Stratman, and obviously this is news that we've been waiting for uh, for some time. We're all very, very excited. So is everybody in his comment section below. The decision of a lifetime, guys, to own a hypercar is something that all of us can only really dream of. But before we get into that, guys, let's cover the Daily Driven Exotics border closure situation. We have a big update on that for all of you watching right now. So we've got an update here from CIC News. Essentially the update basically says the Canada-US border is closed until September 21st now. This is actually a crazy long time, guys. The border for US and Canada closed back in March. It's been from March all the way up until the end of September now. That's a long, long time away from what used to be a mainstay and a staple of daily driven exotics content out in LA, out in California. All of their cars were there. It's been what I I would imagine a pretty big hassle to uproot your entire organization, all of the stuff that you've been building over the last couple years and put it back to Canada. Although I will say this, I think they've been doing a phenomenal job of doing Canadian content each and every day. The article from CIC News essentially says that the public safety minister, uh, Bill Blair, announced that the border would remain closed for non-essential travel last week. Uh, this is the fifth extension now to the travel ban between the US and Canada. Uh, there are a couple exemptions here here, uh, but there's really just not that many. Uh, travel for tourism, recreation, entertainment, uh, still 100% prohibited right now. And sadly, as it seems that there's really no end in sight to the COVID pandemic uh, for the US in terms of how they're dealing with it, I would imagine that this is going to be uh, one of the next like four or five extensions at bare minimum. This is actually something that we talked about about three months ago uh, when the second extension came. Uh, we theorized that this would actually be probably up to like a year's worth of a travel ban. There's really no reason for Canada uh, to lift that ban, especially as US cases has risen pretty dramatically over the last couple weeks. So hopefully you've all enjoyed the Canadian content that DD has been putting out over the past four to five months, because that's what you're going to be getting for the foreseeable future. All right, guys, obviously uh, the majority of the reason why you guys are here today is to get some uh, some commentary on the amazing announcement that Stradman made just a couple hours ago. I was actually going to take today off, but uh, I got more messages in the course of a 20 minute period after his incredible hypercar video video went up than I've ever received ever on my Instagram account. So thank you guys for everyone that, that messaged me. I really appreciate it. I figured I sort of owed it to you guys to sort of do some really quick commentary on, on all the great things that we saw and maybe some things that you missed as well. And we'll get the easy one out of the way first. You don't think I forgot it. Uh, yes, this video does feature uh, one of the most incredible Koenigseggs uh, of all time. It's such an incredible treat to be able to see this particular Koenigsegg on the roads. Uh, like he talked about in the video, uh, it might be the only time that particular car has ever been you know, on the street having a blast. What an incredible thing for Stradman viewers to be able to witness uh, amongst all the other incredible hypercar news that we got in this video. And we'll get the other big one out of the way, guys. About four minutes and 20 seconds into the video, uh, we got the news that everyone has been waiting for for months. It's a very cool moment, guys. Uh, you can tell there's massive appreciation to all of his fans that made this possible for him. Uh, such a cool moment. I'll show you a quick clip of it right now. Boys, I have officially found the car. I made an offer on said car. Offer was accepted. I signed the contract. I wired the money. I officially own a hypercar. So obviously guys, offer made and accepted, wired the money. That's as pretty much as a done deal as you're possibly gonna get. Uh, you know, we've talked about all the different ideas of what his hypercar could actually be. As far as we know, uh, it's gonna either be a Bugatti Veyron or a McLaren P1. We haven't heard anything else to the contrary over the course of the last couple weeks or months. So, you know, hopefully over the next couple days, it seems like we're gonna get, you know, a big reveal video. I imagine it'll probably be one of the biggest videos that Stradman ever does on his channel. Especially considering just, you know, four or five years ago, the guy was getting like 8,000 views a video and now averaging a million per video is truly an incredible rise over the course of the last couple years. Moving right along, guys, at 6.35 in the video, uh, he takes a couple seconds to talk about uh, another incredible car in an already incredible showroom of uh, the Ferrari Enzo FXX. This is one of 30 in the world. I wanted to make sure that I looked up how 
many they actually made. There's only 30 of those in the world. Uh, they are one of the best sounding Ferraris ever made. Uh, if you've ever heard one, feel free to go check it out. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw in an audio clip of this later. Uh, it's incredible to see that car in any form. Uh, obviously not street legal like Stradman was talking about, uh, but can you imagine getting into that car to, to drive it down the road? Truly awesome that he spent a couple seconds with that car. Next up guys, uh, you'd be surprised to know that about 30% of the messages that I received about this video today were not actually about uh, the big news around the four and a half minute mark. They were about another comment that he made like eight minutes and 25 seconds in regarding uh, a Koenigsegg. Have a listen. Oh boys, we need a Koenigsegg. We just can't afford one. We're coming, there's one coming to the channel soon. I don't know when, and when I say soon, obviously you know what I mean. So obviously we don't really know what that means. Uh, what I would imagine, uh, because he talked about not being able to afford a Koenigsegg on top of the hypercar that he has already, although give him give him another year and I'm sure he'll be able to buy a second hypercar. Uh, the really cool thing here, guys, is maybe he's talking about a collaboration. If you think of some of the other people in the automotive and supercar and hypercar automotive YouTube world, we have Randy from Savage Garage who has a thousand horsepower plus Koenigsegg CCX that he drives a pretty significant amount of time. I can imagine, much much like when Houston Crosta brought his Bugatti Veyron out to Utah, maybe we'll see Savage Garage bring a Koenigsegg onto the channel, his CCX out to Utah as well. It certainly seems like a win-win. Stradman gets hypercar content and the people that own the cars also get to collaborate with the biggest automotive YouTuber in the world. So that's what I would imagine it is, guys, that we have a Koenigsegg collaboration in some way, shape, or form coming onto the channel over the next couple weeks, if I had to guess. Now, the rest of the video is fantastic. I, I would happily recommend that you watch the thing from start to finish. Uh, get excited, guys. Uh, Stradman's about to enter a new stratosphere uh, for car content. All the crazy mods, probably very purple, as we've heard in some other videos. Uh, Rap coming to his brand new hypercar, so very excited about that. I'm sure we're going to see that on Summit Live's channel, so get pumped. Uh, but I do want to bring your attention to two interesting little sort of last-minute things here. Uh, we saw a fun comment uh, on Houston Crosta's channel, Royalty Exotic Cars. As you guys know, we covered him selling his Bugatti Veyron uh, a little while ago. It was for sale. We don't know if it's sold yet as far as I can remember. I could be wrong on that. I think it was out at Iluso. Now Iluso is the dealership where Stradman bought his cheapest Aventador in the nation a couple years ago. Maybe he would go back out to buy Houston's Bugatti Veyron. I know that Houston offered it up at like a crazy discounted price a while back and obviously he's got some time with it. He did a couple videos with it when Houston brought it out to Utah and there was some very interesting favorited comments over on the Royalty Exotics page. People saying like, oh cue the Stradman, my next hypercar and Houston's favorite. You, know, you don't you don't know if that's real or anything like that. Uh, There's also like a 2006 uh, black Bugatti Veyron sold out of Chicago Motor Cars, a pretty reputable super and hypercar dealership out there. He was just in Chicago. You never really know. So those are some random last minute shots about maybe what he could have possibly bought. But you know, like we talked about in all the videos, we only have the clues that he puts out there. We can take sort of fun wild guesses and put on the tinfoil hat. But at the end of the day, we're just going to have to wait for his video like everyone else. But I will say this as we close out the hypercar segment today. Today, guys. Uh, it has been so cool for us to be able to cover one of the coolest guys in automotive YouTube in his search for a hypercar. It's just fun to be able to guess at certain things. Uh, obviously, nobody knows but him, but it's just been an awesome, awesome journey to be able to sort of take stabs at it and see if we can find clues and him leaving clues in Burlacker's videos or other people's videos as well. It's been a really, really fun ride to be able to chronicle this search as he went through it over the course of a two to three month period. Very, very cool stuff. Next up, guys, Adam LZ buying the dream FD RX7. I feel like we were just talking about RX7 because the Donut Media did a video on this pretty recently. I imagine very, very big things uh, for the purchase for Adam LZ's channel. I've been watching his channel pretty much every day. Uh, whenever he has a new video out, he's just putting out some awesome drift content in particular. That's what I seem to be gravitating toward. Uh, go check out his Mazda RX7. You guys are going to love it. We get sort of a, a rare vlog with the Straight Pipes guys. Normally one of my favorite automotive review channels. They also bought an extraordinarily cheap Gen 1 Ford Raptor did a ton of off-roading with it. Make sure to go check out their channel if you want to see some just fantastic Raptor action. And we're going to rip through the rest of the news, guys, here. Uh, a tall guy, Car Reviews, appears to have sold his McLaren 570S in favor of getting something brand new in the supercar category. TJ Hun had some really interesting races with a tuned Toyota Supra, and this makes me a little bit sad here, an AMG GTS, which did not perform that fantastic, from my understanding. Jay Leno's Garage has a video, and we recommend them every once in a while, uh, but you have to go check this one out, guys. Uh, Jay Leno has a pristine 1993 Dodge Viper. Jay bought this brand new, uh, and basically you know, from day one of ownership till now, it's in pristine condition, uh, turned into a classic. You gotta go check this out, guys. If you're a fan of the Viper or Jay Leno,
Leno are just awesome car stories. Jay Leno has it for you this time. And we got more to go, guys. A goon squad buying all sorts of crazy stuff for their brand new headquarters. Uh, a lot of their last videos have all been sort of getting that property ready to be the, the brand new home of all of their shenanigans. We got Rich Rebuilds a building their own version of a Tesla Cyber Quad. Man, what a heck of a video this was. I've been watching a ton of Rich Rebuild videos lately and it's because of stuff like this. Just some crazy, crazy inventive action over at Rich Rebuilds. Go subscribe to his channel right away. Then we got Cletus and more giant hovercraft actions. Who knew hovercrafts would be a thing in automotive YouTube? Uh, Cletus breaking new ground there or sort of sliding over it, if you know what I mean. And the last two guys, uh, TGE TV uh, in his first sort of track drive with his Porsche Carrera GT. Anytime I see that car, I gotta recommend the video for the most part and then sort of a final parting thought here uh where's the idiot's been over the last couple weeks or so i haven't seen any new videos since i believe may 27th uh, i love that channel love the fact that it was burlacker and stradman and their neighbor all together uh, doing some really really interesting stuff uh very sort of like dude perfect ish but hopefully we get another upload soon uh, i really enjoyed following that channel i hope we see some more stuff obviously they've all been very very busy with hypercar searching it and then driving insane koenigseggs and folks that's all i've got for you guys today uh thanks so much for being part of the channel guys make sure to subscribe if you're a brand new person you want to stay up to date on what's happening in the supercar and sort of automotive world we try to do our best to bring you everything in between the lines and sort of talk about our favorite channels and, and speculate about what awesome cars they might be getting next but yes v12 adventures coming for me very very soon uh the current owner of the car that i'm looking at buying right now happens to be uh, out of town for at least a couple more days the moment he gets back in we're going to be trying to close the deal here on the v12 for my garage so very very pumped about that still guys i haven't forgot about it just waiting on the owner right now so hope you guys have a fantastic day make sure to stay safe sane and healthy i'm out of breath bye